The San Francisco Arts Commission supports six cultural centers. These are art centers that are located throughout the city and that help to bring the arts and make the arts accessible to all San Franciscans. And today, we're gonna to be interviewing individuals associated with two of those cultural centers. So we'll start with Rene Yanez, who is the curator of SOMARTS, and then we'll be speaking with Jenny Rodriguez, the director of the Mission Cultural Center for Latino Arts. Our subject today is the Day of the Dead festivities that will be taking place in San Francisco. Rene, could you give us a little background on that? Well, Day of the Dead is celebrated in Mexico November 2nd. And here in the United States, people have been celebrating for over 30 years now. And basically, you uh, have ofrendas, you do altars with offerings to invite the dead to come and visit you. You put out the dead's favorite uh, uh, drink and uh, food, and you invite the spirits to come and visit you. And also there's processions to celebrate the spirits, celebrate the Day of the Dead here in the Mission District. Um, you know, 20, 30,000 people show up. And uh, I remember going to SOMARTS last year mm -hmm. and visiting the installation that you uh, curated. That was quite a huge uh, uh, presentation. I really like SOMARTS. So it's a large space and uh, we can do very large installations and altars. So, uh, uh, you know, we're very happy this year too that uh, we're taking a new way of uh, celebrating the Day of the Dead. We're also remembering the living. Some of our artists have participated. Uh, some of them are going through some health issues. Now, uh, the exhibition that you will be mounting at, uh, yes. at SOMARTS mm -hmm. is actually opening well in advance of November 2nd. So there's yes. an exhibition. And what are the exhibition dates? It's um, October 16th. We open up. We're going to have music. We're going to have uh, celebration and we close November 7th. It's located on Brannan Street. It's a Brannan, 934 Brannan between 8th and 9th and uh, it's quite a large space uh, and uh, that allows us to experiment and, and do some quite am uh, amazing installations there. Now the uh, I know that there's certain iconographic images that you know we associate with the Day of the Dead uh, celebration uh, you have the, uh, the cut paper, the papel picado mm -hmm. tradition, right? Um, there is a lot of uh, skulls that, you know, that, are, that are used in costumes and in, in candy. I mean, it's, uh, uh, can you talk about the significance of the skull, for instance? And well, uh, the sugar skulls is inviting the spirits to come and eat the sugar skulls. And you put the name of the person uh, in, in the sugar skull. The candles are to light the way, uh, so they find the way to the altar. The, um, the water, you have an offering of water after the journey so they can quench their thirst. So everything's significant. Sometimes you'll put a beer that that per particular person like to drink. If that person smoked, you put the brand of cigarettes. So everything has a significance. You have the picture. The papel picado is to liven up the altar so uh, it looks uh, alegre, so it looks, you know, it's not a sad thing. It's, uh, it's not a ghoulish thing, it's a celebration. So, um, Rene, and, and sort of to finalize, uh, give me a highlight of what it's gonna be uh, on the, uh, you know, November 2nd. Well, um, we open on October 16th and we're gonna have music and a celebration. And on November 2nd, there's, there's going to be a procession, Garfield Park, and uh, even though the uh, Mission Cultural Center opens on the 15th, it's when on November 2nd they celebrate it. They have crowds, they have tables outside with t-shirts, so it's going to be uh, quite exciting, like every year we get uh, thousands of people turning out for it. Renee, thank you so much for being thank on Culture Wire. Thank you for having Wire. us. Thank you very much. The Mission Cultural Center for Latino Arts is one of the cultural centers supported by the San Francisco Arts Commission. And joining me today is the director for the past 12 years of the center, Jenny Rodriguez. Hola Luis, hi Luis. How are you doing? I'm fine. Well, we're really excited to be here in your gallery space and uh, looking at the preparations taking place with the Day of the Dead, uh, your Day of the Dead exhibition that's coming up. Um, over those 12 years that you've been here, how has that 
exhibition sort of evolved? The precursor of this um, procession were the rallies that were formed by the community activists and the community in response to the wars in Nicaragua, El Salvador, and Guatemala. So that kind of developed and galvanized the community towards getting together and celebrating and for a common cause. And that one thing led to the other, and that how, that's how the, the Day of the Dead procession started here in the mission. Amongst all of the different activities that, that you could see, uh, you have artisans actually creating masks and skulls, right? Uh, you have um, other people making the sugared uh, skulls, uh -huh. uh, which people then can, can purchase. Uh, you've got dancers, performers. Can you, is, are we expecting the same uh, this year? We open our doors at about um, seven o'clock at night and we have several things happening here. So you have, like you said, uh, mass carving, we have sugar skulls make demonstrations. Usually these artisans come from Mexico, direct from Mexico, and they come every year just to come, you know, and, and share their, their work with uh, different other organizations, and they also always come to Mission Cultural Center. So we have that day also Danza Azteca from our very own group that rehearses here every, every single week. Now, how many artists uh, will be participating in your exhibition? Well, this year we're going to have two separate um, things happening. We're going to have um, close to nine big altars that are communal art, um, altars. We're having close to 25 to 30 artists participating in these nine altars, which are they have element, um, um, traditional elements, but at the same time they are contemporary. So these are very, every year is, is a different kind you know, of, of, of experiment that we have here. And then we have in the Inti Raimi, our smaller gallery called Puerta del Sol. We have a very special exhibit this year, which is the work from Manila uh, and from uh, Posada. We're working with the curator, Jim Nikas, who has a special collection that he you know, is, is making available so that the community can enjoy it. He happens to be here precisely finalizing the details of the exhibit, so I'm pretty sure he'll be more than glad to talk a little bit about you know, the exhibit itself. So Jim, I'm very excited about this exhibition you're bringing over to the Mission Cultural Center. Uh, these are original prints from Jose Guadalupe Posada and Manuel Manilla. So tell me, uh, how did you get these prints? They originated in Mexico City, and they came through uh, an association of my former business partner, Ernesto Roveto, who was friends with the grandson of the founder of the printing house of Venegas Arroyo, which began in 1880. Many of the uh, items that will be on exhibit um, uh, during this exhibition is, they're broadsides, right? Yes. They're, they're a combination of text and images that were, now were the stories written by Posada as well? No, they were, they were influenced, the, the, the visual story of the image is written by Posada or created by Posada and Mania, but the text is often uh, the handiwork of uh, a number of writers that uh, Venegas Arroyo had, and, and of course his editorial pen involved. And so th this exhibition and, uh, and your selection um, relates to the Day of the Dead celebrations uh, in what particular way? Well, we probably don't have enough time to go, but I'll try to give the best one, and that is that it, it puts it in context of our own mortality. It connects us to this period of time, which for most of us is well beyond even many of our grandparents' uh, initial walking stages. But uh, we're, all, we're all here on this planet for a very short time, and we share a lot of things. Posada is telling us, Death strikes everybody. It doesn't matter who you are. It's the great equalizer. But now we share our lives together and in many different circumstances. How do you choose to do that? And he gives us a lot of graphic rep representations of the political aspects of, of that or just the socialization aspects of it. It's a very now, rich history. It, yeah, it's a, it's a phenomenal collection. I'm well aware of how historic this is. This is a great opportunity and, uh, and very generous of you to be sharing your collection with uh, San Francisco. So for all of you viewing here at Cultural Wire, uh, Soul Marts and the Mission Cultural Center for Latino Arts are celebrating in October, starting from the middle of the month, 
these two phenomenal exhibitions following the traditions of the Day of the Dead. So we do hope you will take the time to come visit them. Uh, and then of course on November 2nd is the big celebration.